Okay, so welcome to Mathstoria and we're going to solve the oblique triangle using the law of sines. So using the law of sines in solving for an oblique triangle, so this is a triangle with no 90 degrees angle. And this is the formula for the law of sine. A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. Then we can only use this law of sines if case 1, given two angles and a side. Case 2, given two sides and one opposite angle. So these are the two cases. We can use this law of sines. So we have this given, so solve for the triangle. So from the given triangle, so we have angle A, that's 43 degrees. Angle B, that's unknown. Then angle C, that's 32 degrees. Then opposite to angle A, that's side A. So side A is unknown. Opposite to angle B, that's side B. So side B is 21. Opposite to angle C, that's side C. So side C is the unknown. Then these are the two cases for the law of sines. So for this given, so this given satisfy case 1. So given two angles and a side. So these are the two angles given and a side. So to solve for this given, so first we need to find the last angle, so that's angle B. So using this formula, that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Since angle A is 43 degrees plus angle B, that's the unknown, plus angle C, that's 32 degrees then equals 180 degrees. So to solve now for angle B, that's 180 degrees minus, so this 43 degrees plus 32 degrees, that's 75 degrees. So therefore, angle B is equal to 180 minus 75, that's 105 degrees. So, angle B is 105 degrees. Then, since uh, for B, we have this angle and the given side. So, therefore, we're going to use this one to solve for side A and side C. So, to solve for side A, so using this B, so we have B over sine B equals A over sine A. So side B is 21 over sine angle B, that's 105 degrees. Then equals A is the unknown over sine A, that's 43 degrees. Then do cross multiplication, so we have uh, A sine 105 degrees equals, so we have this 21, then sine 43 degrees. Then to solve for A, so divide both sides by 105 degrees. So divide by sine 105 degrees, so cancel. So A now is equal to so we have 21, then sine 43 degrees, then divide by sine 105 degrees. So A is equal to 14.83. So A is 14.83. So this is for side A. Then to solve for side C, so we have B over sine B, then equals C over sine C. Then side B is 21 over 
sine 105 degrees equals C over sine. So, C is 32 degrees. Then, cross multiply. So, C sine 105 degrees equals, so this one is 21. Then, sine 32 degrees. So, to solve for C, divide both sides by 105 or sine 105 degrees, then divide by sine 105 degrees. So, cancel. So, C now is equal to, so we have 21, then sine 32 degrees, divide by sine 105. So, C is equal to 11.52. So, C is 11. Point fifty two. So this is side C. Then for this given, so we have uh, angle A that's seventy four degrees. Angle B that's unknown. Angle C is also unknown. Then side A that's twenty. Side B that's fifteen. And side C is unknown. So from the two cases of the law of signs, so this given satisfy case number two because given two sides and one opposite angle, so these are the given two sides and the opposite angle. So since for A we have this angle A and side A, so we're going to use this one to solve for angle B, angle C, and side C. So we need to solve first for angle B. So we have uh, A over sine A equals B over sine B. Then uh, substitute now the value. So A is 20 over sine A, so sine 74 then equals uh, B is 15 then over sine B then do cross multiplication so that's uh, 20 sine B is equal to 15 this one 15 sine 74 then divide by 20, divide by 20. So to solve now for angle B, so angle B is equal to inverse sine. Then we have 15 sine 74 over 20. So B now is equal to so using calculator, so we have inverse sine, so that's shift, then sine, that's inverse sine, then we have uh, open parenthesis, so 15, then sine 74, divide by 20, close parenthesis, so this is now for angle B, that's 46.13, so angle B is 46. Point thirteen degrees. So since angle B is 46.13 degrees, so we can solve now this angle C using this formula that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So angle A that's 74 plus angle B 46.13 degrees plus angle C, that's the unknown, equals 180 degrees. So to solve now for angle C, so that's equal to 180 minus, so this 74 degrees plus 46.13 degrees. So we have 74 plus 46.13 that's 
So, minus 120.13 degrees. So, angle C is equal to 180 minus 120.13. So, angle C is 59.87 degrees. So, this one is 59.87 degrees. Then, to solve now for side C, so this one is the last unknown. So, using uh, A, so we have A over sine A equals C over sine C. So, A is 20 over sine angle A, that's 74 equals C over sine Angle C, that's 59.87. So, this one is 59.87 degrees. So, cross multiply. So, C, that's sine 74 equals, that's 20. Then, sine 59.87 degrees. Then, to solve for C, so divide both sides. By sine 74, divide by sine 74 degrees. So, C now is equal to, so we have 20, then sine 59.87, divide by sine 74. So, C is 17.99. So, C is 17.99. So, this is for side C. Then, for this given, so for angle A, that's the unknown. Angle B, that's 61. Side C, that's 42 degrees. Then, side A, that's unknown. Side B, that's 32 and side C is also unknown. So, from the two cases of the law of sine, so this given satisfy case uh, 1 because we have two angles and a side. So, these are the two angles and the side. So, in this case, we need to solve first the last uh, angle. So, that's angle A. So, using this formula, that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So, angle A is unknown plus angle B, that's 61, plus angle C, that's 42 degrees, equals 180. Then, to solve for angle A, that's 180 degrees minus... So, this 61 plus 42, that's 103 degrees. So, angle A is equal to 180 minus 103. This one is 77. So, angle A is 77 degrees. Then, to solve for the unknown sides, since in the given for B, we have the angle and the side, so we're going to use this one to solve for side A and side C. Then to solve for side A, so we have B over sine B equals A over sine A. So B is 32 over sine B, B is 61 degrees, then equals uh, a, that's the unknown, then over sine A, so A is 77 degrees. Then to solve for A, so cross multiply, so A sine 61 degrees equals, that's 32, then sine 77 degrees. So to solve for A, divide both sides by sine 61 degrees. So, sine 61 degrees. So, A is equal to... So, we have 32, then sine 77 degrees. 
divide by sine 61 degrees. So A is equal to 35.65. So A is 35.65. So this is for side A. Then to solve for side C, so we have B over sine B equals C over sine C. Then B is 32 over sine B is 61 degrees equals C over sine C. C is 42 degrees. Then cross multiply, so C sine 61 degrees equals this one is 32 then sine 42 degrees so to solve for C divide both sides by sine 61 degrees so sine 61 degrees so cancel so C now is equal to we have 32 then sine 42 degrees divide by sine 61 so C is equal to 24.48 so C is 24.48 so this is for side C